I don't think I knew what we were making as we were developing WoW. I didn't know what all the systems in this game were supposed to be. All I knew was that we were building something huge and amazing and beautiful. When I was hired under the World of Warcraft team, I think it was under the title of 3D artist. I was hired on as an associate quest designer. So I joined World of Warcraft as one of the original first two quest designers. It was myself and Pat Nagel. My name is Patrick Nagel. I started working at Blizzard in 1997. My name is Tom Chilton, and the first game I worked on here at Blizzard was World of Warcraft. Woo! Yeah. All right, yeah. here we go. Look at this. <laughs> Onyxia by the end of the play session? Yeah, we got this. You put it Do I need to go back? Vaguely right, remember. <laughs> what, is it, what is this template thing, and do Jeez. I need to worry about it, Alec? You guys did work on this. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, <laughs> the worst. You, you never forget your first thing, uh, as it were, that you add to the game. You just don't. I, I can't say I really remember. <laughs> uh, the first quest I made was Kobold Camp Cleanup. Bingle's uh, Lost Tools, or I believe it's called Bingle's Missing Supplies. I feel like, man, I really should have remembered that. So the very first thing that I worked on and added to the game was some of the earliest quests in Westfall. We had a few things in game. They were like these really old buildings that somebody else had built, and it almost looked like they had just pulled them out of Warcraft 3. Um, and so I started working on the Goldshire Inn. You deliver some mail to a sheriff. So that's what we're doing right now. Are you now. reading the note that Marshall McBride gives you? Yeah. I think I wrote it. <laughs> you probably did. I'm probably in all caps with crayon. <laughs> <laughs> the way that we went about it was interesting and very naive um, because we didn't know what we were really making then. We had an idea of what we wanted to make, but the reality would become clear as we got into Alpha. That was the way some of the development on that project went. But the team was just so into everything that we were doing. We were so passionate about it that sometimes you would just come up with an idea um, and you thought it was great and you would just do it. Working on a lot of different things at the same time was of course a challenge too. There were the talents, there was the class design, there was the auction house, there was PVP, there was like a lot of different stuff going on at once. I think it was the first time I've seen a group of human beings so singularly motivated and passionate about anything in my life. I think they really just wanted to make a massively multiplayer role-playing game that they wanted to play. And I mean, that's what I got, you know, from it, and that's why I wanted to join. You guys, you guys remember when we had to do these quests? <laughs> I literally I freaked that. about this, because I was like, it was one of my first, like, dem like, you must do this. And I'm like, freaking out, and I'm like, it's gotta be amazing. And so like, <laughs> I'm gonna name this guy something awesome. <laughs> Vulcan, <laughs> Vulcan Isaac. Right? It's like Isengard and strategy. Everybody's planning. We are planning our WoW Classic experience right now. And so we're trying to decide, do we want to be Horde or Alliance? You know, I was always the main tank. My wife was the main healer. Do we want to do that again, or do we want to switch it up? Ironically enough, I, I go through some of the same, like, considerations about what character class to play. I think all those same questions that were bubbling around in my head 15 years ago or bubbling in my head again, and, and there doesn't feel like there's an absolutely right answer, which is probably a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I would love to go through the dead mines with them as well. I mean, it's it was like, I think it was the first dungeon we ever made. It had a great story. Warrior. We are waiting yeah, for you. Wearing... You're in the dungeon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, not, no, not the we dungeon haven't... itself. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, we're... The, this is the front public. Of the public. Oh, there you go. oh, Jeff's going. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How did people ever figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of bittersweet to think about playing the game again because there was something so special when it launched. And I can only hope that um, as I play it again, I can it can reignite that sense of exploration and discovery and the sense of the unknown. And at some point during gameplay, it's like, Whatever that initial thing was that grabbed you the first time 15 years ago, it just kind of grabs you again. I need heels. I need heels. I, need heels. I, need I don't heels. have it. Oh, you're going down. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's the pillagers. I, I still yeah. feel like so much of the magic is here in the game, and I, I wasn't actually expecting that. Yeah, how much it, it holds up and how much of the 
the things that kind of drew me into the game are still there. But I, Wait, did you guys holy. did you guys get the sheep? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> For me, it's it goes past the 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 playing the, the nostalgia that you get of playing the content, and I, it go, it takes me to a, to another time of of a younger me in a different mindset. Even I remember during development the first time that I took a Griffin ride. And I'll never forget that experience of realizing that everything that I was flying over was real and connected, and it was this world for me to explore. I go back to a quote from Chris Metzen. Chris always said that the main character of World of Warcraft is the world. Something that WoW Classic had that was so important to the original experience was sense of world. Yeah. You had to run everywhere, so it really made you think about travel um, right. and pacing. One of the reasons WoW is so successful is that the world itself really draws you in, and there's so much character, especially in those early zones. There was so much creative energy and passion that it made up for some of the inexperience sometimes. Everybody on the team so ardently desired to create the coolest possible thing that they could. And every day we went into work and we poured our heart and souls into the project. And I think that's the reason it came together and in, into the game that it is today. It, it's such a like degree of fidelity that like, you know, millions of people could potentially, many millions of people could potentially come and, and play this thing um, that, you know, really changed us as developers, changed us as a company. I'm really excited there's gonna be a bunch of people who've never played World of Warcraft yeah. before. Yeah. They're gonna to get to experience pretty much with somebody a generation before them did and have that magical moment. I mean, I think we should keep it hard like this and you know, the people who wanna do it, it's just gonna be a really fun way to play WoW. I think there's something to be said for going home again, um, which is something that we don't get in our lives on a, on a normal basis. I think that's a special and exceedingly rare thing to be able to do. And I think that WoW Classic gives those people that opportunity to experience again what home feels like.